Fox 2 Kitchen Autumn Comfort Food with Chef Rebecca. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy to be here today. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. It's I know. It's been ages. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's get right into it. What okay. are you making up there? Well, it's uh, e it's pumpkin everything season. Oh, it, yeah. The, every, there's like pumpkin batteries now. Right. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> pumpkin flavored batteries, pumpkin lattes. <laughs> so we're actually just going to go with that trend and we're going to stuff a pumpkin okay. because it's getting cold out. We want comfort food. What could be more delicious than a pumpkin that's baked and stuffed with bread and yummy things and apples? And so, so we're going to kind of go with that concept here. Mm -hmm. And what I've started with here is um, onions and apples. Onions, yeah. Well, because onions, these what are, are the sweet onions. What are you, a mad scientist? I, I know it's crazy, isn't it? But um, onions, actually, when you saute them, they do get a little bit sweet. And the apples, these are actually uh, Jonathan apples. They're Michigan apples, of mm -hmm. course. And uh, so. The apples are a little bit tart, and so it kind of offsets the onion a little bit. So it's kind of a sweet and savory thing going on here. Okay. So you just have to saute the apples just a little bit. You don't want to make applesauce with these because they're going to get baked in the oven. Good point. Um, and then I'm going to just take some fresh herbs here. So we have some sage and fresh thyme. Oops, sorry, sorry. Okay, you're fine. And uh, we're just going to give those a quick mince. I like using the fresh herbs because they have just a, a beautiful fresh flavor, and um, they're softer, so you don't get, like, little pieces of, of chewy things in your food. Be honest, um, do you cook at home or do you just... All the time. No, you don't. Oh, you get carry out. Well, we did have pizza last night, I will admit. So, But, you know, it was an early morning. So, um, I'm going to take these fresh herbs and I'm just going to add them to this bowl. I've got some Zingerman's Hala and Zingerman's Italian bread all Hala. cubed up there. Hala is delicious for this. You could use any kind of soft white breads or whole grain breads for that matter. I'm going to take my onions and my apples. Kind of add those right in there. That's something I never thought I would hear in my life. Onions and, and apples. Onions and apples. You don't eat onions and apples all the time. That's like gather, yeah. but well, we're going to do delicious. it now. It's delicious. Trust me. Okay, so um, we're going to mix that in. We're going to add. Now you'll be happy about this. We're adding bacon. Bless so, you. I mean, Bless it's, you. You had to do that. So and you could obviously leave out um, the bacon and make it vegetarian, or you could add some cooked sausage, or um, I've actually added shredded chicken to this, and it's been delicious as well. Okay. Some pecans. Almonds would work as well, and some Gruyere cheese. So it's kind of like just a real standard stuffing, but with these delicious fall flavors. Um, going to add that. We're going to pack that into our pumpkin, and our pumpkin is just kind of hollowed out jack-o'-lantern style here. And these are from uh, we got these from um, Country Gardens. So Michigan pumpkins, organic pumpkins. They're great, um, delicious for pies. If you want to make your pies from fresh pumpkin. What'd you do with the pumpkin guts? Um, well. I, the, the answer I should give is that I separated the seeds out, roasted them, and used them as a garnish. But that didn't happen. Uh, but that's what I should say. Okay, say that. Okay, that's so I just did. And uh, so we're going to pack the rest of this stuffing in there. You know, you will have a little bit left over, and I'm making a big mess here. But um, if you have a little bit left over, you can do another pumpkin with this. Or I've also stuffed a, uh, a little acorn squash as well, a sweet Look squash. at that crazy acorn squash that's over delicious. there. delicious. Isn't that beautiful? That. I mean, it looks like it was, you know, painted on, like those food prep people paint stuff. You know, it it is. It's either. gorgeous. It's beautiful. I know. I know. And so all these colors. It is heavy. And so we do this. Um, and so we're just going to add this heavy cream. If you wanted to add um, milk or you wanted to kind of leave the milk out, you could do that. But the, the cream kind of makes it rich and gives you a great, delicious, comforting casserole-like texture. That is so nice. Know, Where, is that presentation? Where are all the, the Bush's locations? Oh, gosh. You want me to recite all 15 well, right here? No. Uh, <laughs> we are, we're spread out. So uh, we're, our corporate office, we're based out of Ann Arbor. So we go from um, Ann Arbor to Celine, all the way out to Clinton and Tecumseh, and all the way east to Rochester Hills and West Bloomfield and Livonia and Plymouth and, and everything in between. Yeah, I don't want to forget anybody because they're all great stores. So. After you bake your pumpkin for about an hour, it gets nice and soft, and you have something that looks like this. Imagine having a dinner and him serving that. How impressive that would it's be! It's a great side dish, and yeah. I mean for Halloween oh, or something the like main that. <laughs> well, you could, yeah, you could do that as well. It could be a side dish or a main dish. Yes. And this one we've made gluten-free by replacing the bread with uh, rice. So wild rice blend goes in there, and, and this one is vegetarian as well. So oh. um, now <laughs> the serving, you wanna, you can either cut it down the side or you can scoop. All right. So you can. Here, let me get a plate. Yes. Jason, you want a plate? Uh, I'm gonna scoop it out with a little smell. bit of pumpkin right. pumpkin yumminess there. Get some pumpkin guts in there yep, too. Yep, yep. Chef, All thanks right. for being here. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure as usual. All right. Uh, Jessica, do you want us to save you a pumpkin? <laughs>